Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and in today's video I've got five more Wonder Kids that you should sign to help you with your team. Whether it's replacing an aging player and you need some new blood in your team or whether it's a long-term project of somebody that you want to buy and develop for the future. I think I have somebody on this list that can suit all needs. Before we jump into the list though, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to help the channel out, hit the thumbs up button as well to let me know that you're enjoying these kinds of videos and any comments you have, whether it be players you want to recommend, somebody for me to look at, or maybe it's somebody that you would swap for your own player, let me know. I'll have a look in the comments section down below and try and get through as many of those as I can. So without further ado, let's roll onto this list and look at the first player that I have chosen for the Wonder Kids list. So the first player on my list is Christopher Clayson. He is a goalkeeper who plays for Valaranga out in Norway. He starts the game as a 19 year old. He is six foot two. Starts the game valued at £375,000 and has a starting current ability of 113. When you look at his abilities, he has a good aerial reach. He has good kicking and one-on-ones. His reflexes are at 15. He does have a punching tendency of 14, but that's nothing really to worry about. In terms of his mentors, he has good aggression and bravery. His determination is nice and high, which is something we like to see at 17. His leadership, positioning and teamwork are also good. In terms of his physicals, he's, his acceleration is 11. His agility is 13. Jumping reach is 15. And he has strength of 12. And this shows that he's probably going to be able to command his area from set pieces. So what we're going to do is jump forwards for four years into the game and see what he develops into. OK, so you can now see that he is 23 years of age and assigned for LA Galaxy in the MLS. He is now valued at 3.2 million and his current ability is up to 132. His stats have started to develop quite quickly with his aerial reach, his reflexes both being at 16 and then a lot of his other goalkeeping stats are standing out there in terms of command of area, communication, punching tendencies still 14 but one-on-ones, kicking, all areas of his game as a goalkeeper have developed. In terms of his mentors, he has good aggression and anticipation, he's brave, he has good determination still at 17. His leadership has picked up with 13. His positioning and teamwork are good too. And when you look at his physicals, he still has 11 for his acceleration. His agility is 14. His jumping reach is 16. His strength is up to 14. So he's getting bigger and stronger too. When we have a look at his stats across the season, you can see he's been exposed to a lot of first team football since he has been in the MLS. In his first season, he played in 22 games. His second season in 28. And as of the time of this piece of video, he had played seven games in the 2024 season. His average ratings started off at 6.75 in the MLS. They worked up to 7.18 and this current season is already at 7.06. I think this is a player who you can go out and buy as a bargain. He is going to tick all the boxes for everything you need in a goalkeeper going forwards in the game. The next player on my list is Niccolo Armini. He is a defender, centre or a right back who plays for Lazio. He's 19 years old at the start of the game and costs just £300,000. Although I don't think Lazio will be letting him go for that. He stands at six foot one, which is a decent height for a defender. When you look at his stats, they're not very impressive at the start of the game. He has a current ability of 103, but he has good heading. Good marking, passing and tackling. So all the rough attributes for a centre-back. He has good aggression, anticipation. Determination is quite high again at 17. He has good teamwork and good work rate. And in terms of his physicals, he has good acceleration, good natural fitness. He's strong at 14, which means he's not going to get pushed off the ball or bullied by defenders. So... All in all, he looks like a rough diamond that you are going to need to polish to get into your first team. And when we jump forwards four years, you can see he's still with Lazio. His current ability has now jumped to 139. His 
attributes in terms of technical still don't look fantastic but all the areas you need for a center back have started to develop he now has good heading marking passing his tackling is good and his technique has improved his mentors really stand out with good aggression anticipation he's brave good concentration positioning teamwork and work rate all stand out too and his physicals have only got better too he's good at his natural fitness his balance is good his strength and stamina are good and they will all hold him in good stead playing against forwards in the top league when we look at his stats across the seasons he actually hasn't played that much first team football so it's impressive that without playing as much first team football as other players he's still developing quickly uh, you can see that Whilst playing for Lazio, he has actually played a total of 26 games across his career and has still developed into a player with a really good current ability of 139. I think he's a player that you can go out and maybe not buy on the cheap, but if you can get him and you can mould him into your first team, he's a player who is going to dominate attackers in this game. The next player on the list is Lucien Agume. He is a defensive midfielder, midfielder centre or attacking midfielder centre who starts off at Spezia. I believe he's on loan from Inter Milan. He is an 18 year old, so quite young in his progression. And you can see that he starts off as a 1-1-2 current ability player. He has all the stats that you need for a young central midfielder. Although they're not fantastic, they are definitely mouldable stats. And in terms of his technicals, he has dribbling of 11, first touch of 12. He has good passing tackling and technique in those areas in his mentors category you have concentration decisions determination teamwork off the ball vision and work rate all scoring highly but it's his physicals that are going to stand him out from any other 18 year old in your team where he has good natural fitness his stamina is good he has good strength and balance and he's also a quick player with pace and acceleration of 12 he seems to be set up to be a long-term project for any team who wants to put him in the centre of their midfield. So if we jump four years forwards into the game, he has actually signed for Monaco now and his current ability has jumped up to 143 at the age of 22 and his stats have started to blossom everywhere. You've now got good technicals in terms of corners, dribbling, first touch, his passing is good, his technique and his tackling. His mentors have all started to produce as well with anticipation and decisions, good determination, flair, off the ball, vision and work rate. And those physicals are now really starting to come to the fore in terms of his balance, his natural fitness, his stamina and strength all jumping off the page. If we have a look at his development in terms of game time, you can see that he went to Monaco for £3.9 million and slotted straight into their midfield, playing well from the get-go. In his first season, he played 31 games, scoring four goals with five assists and achieving a 7.21 rating. In his second season, he played 33 games, scored eight goals with four assists and a 7.03 rating. This player is a player that I haven't heard too much about, so I think he may go under the radar in a lot of games, but go out and buy him, plug him into your midfield and polish that diamond into a sparkling one. Up next on my list is a player called Amar Aras. He is an attacking midfielder left and centre and starts the game in Osasuna's under-19s. He is an 18-year-old player who costs £37,500, although he does have a buyout clause of £12.75 million at the start of the game. His current ability starts at 103, and when you look at his stats, he's another one that is a real rough diamond. For his positions, he has all the tools that are there. You just need to put him in the right place at the right time to develop him. So looking at his technicals, he has good dribbling, first touch, passing, penalty taking and technique. In terms of mentors, he has good decision, determination and flair. He also has good teamwork, vision and work rate. In his physicals, he needs some work doing there. So it's one maybe to put him into the first team gradually rather than throwing him in straight away. But looking at it, he has good acceleration and agility. 
He has good pace. He may be a little bit weak in terms of being a playmaker. He may get pushed off the ball quite easily with strength of nine. But I think that when we jump forwards four years, you can see that if you stick at it, he really can develop well. So four years into the future, he's now signed for Paris Saint-Germain, currently playing for PSG 2. And his ability has jumped up to 128. He's now worth £6.25 million. And his stats are progressing everywhere. At the age of 22, I think he will only get better as time goes along too. So if we break it down, you can see that his technicals now. He has corners, crossing, dribbling, first touch, uh, long shots, passing and technique. His mentals are good now with anticipation, composure, decisions, determination and flair. He has good teamwork, vision and work rate still. And in terms of his physicals, this is where he's really started to develop. His acceleration, agility, pace, stamina and his strength has gone up to 11 as well. So he's not going to be pushed off the ball as easy. When we look across his playing time, you can see that when PSG bought him for 1.9 million, they loaned him back to Osasuna, played 20 games for the first team there, scoring three goals with two assists. He then went back to PSG's main team and played three times, scoring one goal and getting a 7.37 rating. He then dropped down to the second team where he played 28 games, scoring three goals with seven assists. And I think really that is what you should be doing with Amar Aras. He may not be a player that you can throw straight into your first team, but if you're a club that needs that type of player, I'm sure you can put him in, develop him quite quickly and he will exceed that 128 that you can see on your screen as time goes along. The last player on this list is a player called Andres Garcia. He is a striker who plays for Valencia's under-19s. And on first glance, you may be thinking, what is he doing on a Wonder Kids list? He is 17 years of age. He costs £155,000 at the start of the game. He's 5'11", so... He's a good, good size for a striker. But when you look at his stats overall, you can see he's going to need a lot of work. He has raw potential in terms of dribbling, finishing, first touch, and passing for his technicals. His mentals don't look great overall with only decisions off the ball and work rate standing out. He has good acceleration, agility, balance and pace in terms of his physicals. And I think that he's a player that when you buy, if you buy him, you are going to have to try and mould into what you want. Because when you see what he can develop into, you will realise that that current ability of 90 is very much the baseline of where he can be. So we jump forwards four years in the game and he has now developed into a 21 year old player who is current ability of 121. His stats have started to pad out and he's a player who is actually going to start breaking into first teams anywhere. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, even though the stats aren't exceptional, what he can do in front of goal certainly is. So when we look at his technicals, he has dribbling of 12, finishing of 16, first touch of 15, heading of 13 and technique of 14. He has good mentals now with aggression, anticipation, composure, decisions, determination, flair, leadership and off the ball. And his physicals have come on with good acceleration, agility, balance, natural fitness, pace and stamina. One area he is lacking is he still only scores eight for strength, but I'm sure at the age of 21, he is only just beginning. When we go across to his seasonal stats, you can see that across his time at Valencia, his stats stand at 78 games with 48 goals, three assists, five player of the match awards and a 7.34 rating. When you break it down, he has actually only made five appearances for Valencia's first team. He has scored for the first team, but most of his action has been played at that second tier kind of level. So it's hard to really say whether he will develop into a world-class striker. But I have seen in other saves him pop up on the next-gen list and the European golden boy list. So this is a player that I think that if you can take into your team, mould him into what you want. He will score goals and he will develop into the player that is deserving of being on any Wonder Kid list. 
That then was my five wonder kids for you to sign in Football Manager 21. I hope that you have a look into some of those, sign some of them. And if you do, come back to the channel after you've hit the subscribe button and the like button. Drop into my comments and tell me exactly what happened in your saves with some of these wonder kids. If you have any names that you want me to look into or any players that you think are deserving of going onto a wonder kid list that may not feature on some of the ones that you've seen, don't forget to put them in the comments box. Until the next video, thank you very much for watching. I have been Frankly FM84. Take care and stay safe.